Welcome to Sleep Better TV. I'm Tasia Custody, and my guest today is Dr. Don Slabach of the Craniofacial Care Center in Columbus, Ohio. Dr. Don, it's so great to have you again. Thank you for having me. So I'd like to talk a little bit about cardiovascular conditions and obstructive sleep apnea. Why are heart attacks and strokes associated with OSA? When a patient has obstructive sleep apnea, multiple times a night, they are stopping breathing and all of their cells are being deprived of oxygen. So the heart has to work harder, blood pressure goes up. Um, we also see a breakdown of the lining of blood vessels. So it creates areas where inflammation occurs, plaque can be deposited. So we end up with narrow vessels in the heart, narrow vessels in the brain leading to heart attacks and strokes, or as I call them, brain attacks. In fact, the incidence of obstructive sleep apnea in patients who've had a stroke is nearly 90%. So could you explain what resistant hypertension is and what's its relation to OSA? Resistant hypertension or resistant high blood pressure, hypertension just is another term for high blood pressure, is when a patient is on three or more blood pressure medications and it's still not managing their blood pressure. And what the studies have shown is patients with resistant hypertension, nearly 90% of those patients also have obstructive sleep apnea. So what are some of the other cardiovascular conditions that are associated with OSA? One that's often overlooked um, is a dysfunction in the heart rhythm, um, particular atrial fibrillation. Um, atrial fibrillation um, is treated by, um, in its most severe form, if nothing else is working, by what's called cardioversion, where they actually shock the heart back into its rhythm. And what they have found is that a patient who has undergone cardioversion and um, experiences another episode of atrial fibrillation within a year, there's a high percentage, like over nearly 80%, who have obstructive sleep apnea. Um, some other conditions, coronary artery disease, congestive heart failure. Again, we're dealing with breakdown of blood vessel lining. We're dealing with a heart that's having to work harder. So it just contributes to overall cardiovascular decline. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. My guest today has been Dr. Don Slabach of the Craniofacial Care Center in Columbus, Ohio, and you have been watching Sleep Better TV. Mm -hmm.